What's up, Saggies? What's up, my Sagittarius? What's up, my fire signs? What's goody? What's goody? Medusa's light is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, you guys. Welcome, Saggies. I am Medusa's light. Some call me Shia. Some call me Mama Goddess. Um, Venus as well. I am a Bruja, holistic killer, and a reader. I do sell holistic products as well. You can check the links and the social medias down below. Today, we're going to do you all's February reading for 2021. I did not get you all's January reading in, so that's why I'm going ahead and starting off with you all right now. Please forgive me, but I'm going ahead and get you a very deep, incisive reading for February. And please like, share, and subscribe, my loves, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Also, I am a little ratchet and I do cuss in my readings. And if that does not sit right with you, you are welcome to hit the door and we send all love, light, and balanced energy on your way out. Everything may not resonate. I am doing a little different setup. I do have some dragon blood sage going on for you guys. I was needed to pull this, a very strong purifier for cleansing and clearing out the energies. Yes, yes. Yes, but as I was saying, everything may not resonate and that is perfectly okay. You just take what does. It is a lot of collective energies going on as this is a collective reading and it may resonate with someone else, another Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. It may resonate with you and we're going to go ahead and get you all started. I have welcomed in my guides, my angels, my ancestors. An all light energy, love and balance. Yes, Archangel Michael, Megatron, Hanayel, all of my lovely, 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 beautiful, beautiful angels. Sagis. Sagis. So, this setup, I let it be like this so y'all can have a better view of it um you can really kind of not see me but that's okay i'm reading the energy and i'm also um yeah like i said i'm reading the energy <laughs> yo what's up with y'all <laughs> i was so hype a minute ago <laughs> i was so hype and then everything just went here <laughs> when i was focusing on you guys's energy i seen a figure covered with a black coke like almost like a the the jackets where it got a hood on and like a coat coke kind of country so you know yeah <laughs> a black coke but i seen them and then they transformed into a huge orb of energy that got lighter the outside the more it was on the outside it was lighter than it was on the inside. Saggies. Some of my saggies need to unblock their throat chakra. Give me a reading on my Sagittarius. It's for February 2021. Please give me a reading for my Sagittarius. Guide. Spirit, please give me a reading for February 2021 for my Sagis, my collective Sagis tuning in right now. What messages do we have for them? Please give me a reading on that energy for February 2021. One card at a time, please. Wow, y'all are... Some of my Sagittarius have been doing some contemplation. One card at a time, spirit. That black coke. I feel like a lot of one card. Thank you. I feel like some of my Sagittarius says you're going through a shadow stage right now. Mm -hmm. And you need to unblock your heart chakra. A lot of you all have gone through some card at a time, spirit. Some type of betrayal. Some type of Disappointment. A lot of you are the time spirit. Please give me a reading on my Sagittarius energy for February 2021. One card of time spirit, please. Please give me a reading on my energy. 
you can read it. My Sagittarius energy. One more, please. Yeah. Some of you are going through some type of painful transition right now. Some of you are going through some type of painful transition. Like, your heart chakra is so blocked, Sag. Like, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. So, can y'all see that? So yeah, we have the Sagittarius. The Sagittarius. We have the chariot. So yeah, a lot of my Sagittarius is you're moving towards something, my loves. Like you're moving forward. You're trying to move forward within the energy of 2021 20, within the month of February. We have the seven of wands. Then we have the two of swords in reverse. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. And then we have the King of Cups in reverse. Okay. So within February 2021, Saggies, a lot of you all are trying to move past something. You have been going through an instance within your energy where it's been a lot of people that's been controlling it. Like it's been a lot of instances instances where you've been doing stuff and it hasn't been really been something that you really wanted to do. Or it's like you're letting others dictate specific actions that you should better decide to do for yourself. And you're starting to see that now with the two of swords in reverse. Like you're trying to see the reality for what it is. You're starting to see what's really been going on. Whose hands has been in the pot that you've been mixing together within your own kitchen. You've been seeing the puppet master. Like you're starting to really understand who's the puppet and who's the puppet master. And you're trying to work towards a new beginning, my loves. Some type of new beginnings, especially within like your career and also within like personal relationships. But it's been at a stalemate. It's been like a halt on it. And it's been a halt on it because you haven't been in an end energy where how can i say this spirit i don't want to say it like that with the king of cups in reverse it's showing me somebody who's who's not being up front not being responsible who's more so taking than giving there's somebody who's who doesn't really, who's avoiding truth, who's not really taking actions for the betterment of their own growth. They're like a very strong manipulator and they're very indecisive within their decisions and is very selfish within certain things that they do because they don't want to take the more prominent route as the universe is trying to push them towards. With the King of Cups in reverse, it's showing me somebody who hasn't taken the proper growth that they need to better met, to better mature within their energy. They're, you're at a, it's like, you're realizing other people's communications and energy and what's been going on. And you're trying to get, you're trying to be more controlling within your own actions. That's what you're seeing. And you're trying to move forward towards a new beginning. But for some of my Saggies, you're stuck within the energy. Within Saturn, yes, that's what I'm hearing. Like some of my Saggies, I don't know if. You're, some of my Sagittarius are on a path right now where you're spiritually growing and it's like you have to because the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction, you were one of the most strongest signs that were affected. Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorns. 
And if you're avoiding and trying to neglect the energy that Saturn is trying to give to you, it's stopping you from the new beginnings. It's stopping you from the new aspects and the new abundance that's trying to come towards you, that needs to come towards you within the time and the age of Aquarius. Saggy, some of you are really trying to not absorb the energies and the advice and the goddess and the blessings the universe is trying to give to you because some of my Saggies, you're avoiding transformation. You're avoiding change. And some of my Saggies, it has to do with a, a significant other within your energy that's also related to this King of Cups who could be an earth sign and also a fire sign who is somebody who is very manipulative and controlling and not upfront with their issues and their problems. That took longer than expected, though, Spirit. That was a lot to get out. That was a lot, Spirit. So, yeah, some of my Saggies, like, you've been, like, within your energy, it's been in a very, like, insecure, vulnerable energy. Like, it's been very almost like self-destructive because some of my sages you're trying to find a scapegoat instead of dealing with specific shit that needs to be dealt with right now take it how it may resonate take it may how it may take it how it may resonate my loves. and for some of you all you're involved with somebody who's very insecure and they try to manipulate you and your energy because they see you for the king and divine being that you are. Divine being, king, and queen. Please give me energy. Spirit, please give me insight. I didn't even. Mm. Spirit, please give me insight on the seven of wands, please. Thank you. Please give me insight on the two of swords, spirit. Mm. I'm sorry, that's not spirit. I'm trying to understand already, though. Please give me inside this Ace of Wands in reverse spirit. Thank you. Please give me inside this King of Cups in reverse spirit. Mm. Some of my Saggies, like, you've really been trying to move past shit without trying to make certain decisions yeah already not even look at the goddamn motherfucking back of the day. some of you all have been trying you have the ten of wands so some of my saggies like you've been carrying a lot of burdens like you've been very burdened carrying a lot of response you've been carrying like a lot of weight it's been a lot of weight, a lot of burdens. You've been running around a lot, trying to do a lot and holding a lot on your plate, not only for yourself, but for others too, my loves. And within this energy of you holding all of these wands, carrying them, and I want you to see these deers, and you see how these deers looking at him like, damn, like why he like, like damn, like, damn, my nigga, like damn, like just staring like you're holding on to energy others people's responsibilities trying to take care of others trying to build stuff within your career and your finances and trying to hold on to shit that you have needed to move past and move forward to but you're not confronting it so it's weighing on you my loves it's weighing on you then we have the eight of pentacles Very pretty card. The King of Pentacles. The Lovers. Okay. <laughs> you guys. Yes. Yes. And I really understand. And then we got the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords. Okay. So, Saggy, Saggy, Saggy. Take a hell may resonate. 
So a lot of you have really been working. You've been working very hard, being very diligent. You've seen the mistakes and you've seen the actions that have been ha that have been portrayed in the past. And right now you're in a very go-getter, hardworking energy. Like you've been really grinding. Some of my statues has really been grinding. And you've been grinding because you've been trying to get away from all of the hands and all of the voices that has been trying to stir your hand and your path. And you're trying to move forward towards this energy of this king of pentacles my loves like you're in a very earthy grounded energy like you're a very like you're hungry for the money so my statues are very very motherfucking hungry for the money and when you took off this blindfold is when the abundance and the pentacles and the opportunity opportunities started flourishing towards you you guys yes and i understand now with this ace of wands in reverse within the energy within jupiter and also some of my sagittarius my some of my sagittarius is you may be involved with a fire sign or earth sign aries aries leo aries leo sag capricorn virgo taurus yes so you all may be involved with someone or you may about to start in a new relationship with a new lover. I'm hearing a specific individual, maybe from your past, that you've been avoiding. And also for some of my Sag for some of my Saggies, it's a new relationship that's coming your way that didn't work out. That the energy wasn't placed into it correctly and it took you off balance because within the energy you was being insecure or your other significant other that you was involved with was being more insecure somebody was being very insecure within their energy and you're going to have a new relationship come towards you my love but it's going to challenge you practically and spiritually within the month of February. Within the month of February, Sagittarius is a lot of you all need to rest. A lot of you all need to one need to heal and slow down a little bit. You're too imbalanced within your energy because you're slowly allowing the old energy to slug off of you, so you can focus on the material plane and your benefits and your pinnacles and abundance within this time of Aquarius is my loves. Within this four of swords, you need, spirit is asking you to connect. They're asking you to connect. You're too stuck, too focused, and, and I'm not saying, you know, getting the money is, is bad or anything or whatever. But, you know, when you really work and work and real hard and all, you, and all you're in is a hustling mindset, you're neglecting your other half. You're neglecting the other side of you. And what spirit is trying to tell you is to rest, to meditate, to speak, to talk, to when you're in the shower, to pray, to meditate, to just take time to yourself, to go to nature, to just feel you need to balance both because if you're going to want to stay in this king of pentacles energy my loves you're going to have to balance both because you're not only manifesting within the age of aquarius but saturn and jupiter is sending you down powers and gifts and energies for you to grow and do what you need to do for the impact within this year my loves like it's no joke saggies and spirit is telling you to connect You don't know dumb shit. My usual. Let's get some sexual magic. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Zila. With some sexual magic tarot, my loves. But yes. Let's get some more insight on his lovers. What is this relationship? Okay. <laughs> Y'all know I'm goofy as fuck. But yes. Spirit, please give me insight for Sagittarius for already again. I'm rooted for you guys. I'm always a sucker for romance. And as I can see, like, 
as you keep the blindfold off saggy and you stop neglecting the energy for some of my Sagittariuses. Some of my Sagittariuses, you were neglecting the energy that the planets were trying to give you and gift down to you. But as you took that blindfold off and you start to see what needs to be seen, I'm telling you, the prosperity and the abundance is just going to come to you without you having to worry. And all you need to do is trust. Just trust and change and continue to grow, my love. Some of you all need to focus on your root chakra. You need to ground. You need to ground, my love. All right, Spirit, please give me insight on my series. Personal life, sex life, their partners. Please give us insight on this lover. Spirit, please give me insight on this lover for my Sagittarius for February 20th. Spirit, please give me insight on my Sagittarius for 2021. One card at a time, Spirit. Give me insight for my Sagittarius for 2021, Spirit. Please give me insight for my Sagittarius for 2021. Thank you. Please give me insight for my Sagittarius. One card at a time, Spirit, please. Thank you. Please give me insight on my Sagittarius for 2021. Oh my card, please, Spirit. Y'all some hustlers, though. I'll tell you that. You be like, fuck it. But y'all some hustlers. Mm, some of y'all. <laughs> some of y'all. <laughs> What's been going on? Both of them? Both of them? <laughs> some of my saggies. You nasty. Uh, you just can't keep it to yourself, can you? Mm -mm -mm. Some of my saggies out there. So at the back of the dick, I finna say dick. <laughs> at the back of the dick, we got the name of wands. And then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So some of my Sagittarius is, so some of my Saggies, some of my Saggies, You've been, take it how many resonate. Some of my Saggies, you've been very um, intrinsicate. Like, you've been very fiending for energy that's very alluring. Like, and also a lot of people have been wanting you. And some of my Sagittarius has been slinging that Jadango around and throwing that wop around the fucking world. Yes. Yes, you have. You can't hide it from me. The cards don't lie because you have. You have, and if you haven't, you have really been jacking off a lot and masturbating. But get it how you gonna get it, honey? I ain't judging you. <laughs> I ain't judging you. Some of my Saggies, you may be involved with an air sign or also a water sign as well. And you also may be involved with a specific air sign and earth sign as well from your past who you've been thinking about a lot in regards to trying to reconcile with and you very much like their breasts a lot and saggies they very much like your body a lot especially your booty my female saggies they very much like your booty they very much like your body and it's like the smell of you is very alluring to them oh so then we have the Ten of Swords, the King of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and then the Knight of Wands. Okay, so I'm starting to really understand. So Sagittarius is 
with this ten of swords, a lot of my Sagittarius is you were you are you are going through a specific betrayal breakup right now in regards to another third party. And in regards to that, you're understanding that the energy that you put into this person was given to someone else. And you trying to balance out and be there for that person, you understand and saw that the energy was just getting manipulated. You were trying to make shit shake. You were trying to make shit work, but you're, you, when you took off the blindfold, you really understood who the person was. Somebody, they, you really caught them going off on sticky linkies. You caught them going off on sneaky winkies when you were trying to be the one to be there to take care of them. When you were catering and taking care of them, they were off doing shit behind your back. Behind your fucking back. Everybody's hiding. Running away. More insight on Sagittarius Six Love Life Spirit for February 2021. Please give us more insight on Sagittarius Six. More insight on Sagittarius Six Love Life for 2021. What card is time spirit? Thank you. Insight on Sagittarius Six. What card is time spirit? Please. Insight on Sagittarius Six. Thank you. I go all them both for a while. I'm gonna keep them both. And on the back of the dick, on the back of the dick, we have the Empress. Okay, then. Okay, then. I say, what I say? If you watch my videos before, what I say every time I pull the Empress card, you may be pregnant. <laughs> so take a day, Tess. Or some of my Sagittarius are in a very divine feminine energy right now. And Taurus, Capricorn, Libra. Some of you all may be in um, a very evolving energy. Or you may be involved with somebody who is a divine feminine. My loves. With this empress card yes like yes honey yes okay let's get the table right okay okay yes and i say that there's some of my some of you all you know some of my sages you know maybe pregnant you know just be careful you know wrap up please wrap up wrap up and also get tested because with this knight of wands with them sneaking and leaking and geeking out on you you don't know what the fuck yeah so please do that too spirit just told me that just when it just flew in through my head with this empress card intuition going off key you know but yeah go do that too my saggies don't trust nobody if i can trust nobody okay so starting off we got the knave of pentacles in reverse yes you were involved with somebody or a few people who were just for anybody like within like some of my Sagittarius is you are involved with somebody who was really trying to be community damn dick and pussy. And you realize that and it broke your heart because you were doing nothing but giving to them. And you started to realize that and got out of the intoxicated state and stopped being so motherfucking just woo side over everything and you're coming out of that but some of you all were involved with somebody who wasn't shit and yes oh my god so yes you involved with somebody that wasn't shit and then we got the queen of pentacles in reverse they weren't good on their motherfucking money they didn't know how to keep money they act like they, they didn't want to work which is why you always was working and was overworked oh my god and then we got the four of cups the four of chalices so somebody in this relationship, they were trying to hold on. They didn't want to let go. They didn't want to let go in this relationship because they kept trying to have a new beginning. They kept trying to start over and say they're going to get their shit together. But really, in reality, they were trying to be strong. You were trying to be strong. I need more insight. They were fucking up your money, though. 
some messages they were really fucking up your money and it was like it was a hidden agenda at pay at, at play but every time you saw yourself walking away it was like a magnet pulling you back so my Sagittarius is you may be involved with somebody who may be into the mystical arts and you may be involved with somebody who does like the sex with you. They enjoy the sexual pleasure with you, which is one reason why they don't want to let you go. But they're lazy as fuck. They're lazy as fuck. And it's an individual who you're moving towards because you have this empress right here and this empress isn't this other person it can be spirit trying to tell you to be strong you may be involved with a leo and might have leo in your chart leo energy right here and they're trying to tell you to be strong because this divine feminine is coming towards you feminine masculine take it how me resonate energy does not have a gender so yes and then i see the seven of swords so yeah, a lot of deceitful, deceptive energy that was at play within this relationship. And what Spirit is trying to tell you is to listen to your intuition, to be intuitive, to understand and allow and see the messages the universe is trying to give to you so you can see the deceptive energy that's going on between your eyes. Somebody is looking towards and trying to walk away and let go. But because it's like a tie in place somebody's not trying to let go which is making it hard for the other party to and i kind of need some more messages so you're telling me to pull a few more cards because spirit who what card is hot spirit please what is going on in sagittarius's Love life for February 2021, Spirit. What is going on with Sagittarius's love life for February 2021, Spirit? What is going on with Sagittarius's love life for 2021, Spirit? And then the Six of Pentacles at the back of the deck. Y'all may be glad I love y'all because, and actually I have a little Sagittarius painting right here in the back. I should have put that up for you guys. I kind of made it, I say that for a story time for another day. <laughs> but yes, so we have the Six of Pentacles at the back of the deck. So with the Six of Pentacles in the back of the deck, Saggies, a lot of you, like I was saying, like you're giving, like you have an energy that's very giving, very comforting. And a lot of you may be moving back towards something in your past that may be fruitful for you in regards to where you're key, you have the Five of Swords to where you keep trying to work towards it. And it's like, as you see, he's trying to take her clothes off, but she's in all these like weird angles in regards it was a text message but you see him trying to take off her clothes like this and it's like she's in all these weird angles where he keeps trying to take her clothes off but it's not working so yeah it's like you're moving towards something or you're being so comforting towards somebody for some of my sagis this is somebody from your past and this is somebody that you're currently involved with now or trying or has been involved with for a while right now and you're understanding that it's failing and you're not facing or they're not trying to face the situation or the truth at hand with this knight of swords in reverse they're like running from the situation they're continuously not trying to face the battles they're being very immature about the situations and the reality at play of what's really going on right now and because they're avoiding that because they're avoiding the truth and because they're trying it's like it's like it's, it's it's like they wanna be with the shits, but when certain shit that comes with the shits happen, they move and try to run away towards something else. Like there, this is my runner card. Like 
they move towards some type of else, some type of other crazy ass situation, some type of other situation going on that can take their mind off of stuff. And then we got the chariot in reverse. So yeah, running, not not trying to move forward. They keep running back towards the past. Within this, within this, within February 2021, Saggy. You're involved with somebody who likes to keep running away, who don't, who likes to keep reverting back to the past and doesn't want to move forward towards change. This, some of my Sagis, this is you. Some of my Sagis, you're avoiding the energy that Saturn is giving you and you're not trying to move forward. And for some of my Sagis, you're involved with someone who you've been trying to make shit work out from your past and it just hasn't been working because either party has been avoiding a truth. Either party, when shit gets real, it when shit gets real, one of the other runs tail and gets their tail between their legs and runs away. Which is why you have the chariot in reverse. Somebody is running away within this love. But then we have the empress again. The divine feminine energy. And then we have the four of wands in reverse. And I understand what spirit is trying to tell me. So for some of my saggies... The divine sense, I understand now, this empress. This empress is an energy that Saturn and Jupiter have been trying to give to you. This, my, some of my Sagis, you've been in a very divine, masculine, egotistical energy. Feminine and male and female, feminine and masculine. Like, my kings and my queens like you have been in a very divine masculine energy a very egotistic um emperor energy and what the universe has been trying to give you is this empress divine feminine energy to better help you to better help balance your practicality and your spirituality they're trying to give you this divine feminine energy but it's like when they try to give it to you the foundation at play that you're in is failing and it's i want y'all to see this card the foundation at play is crumbling because the energy of what you've been trying to work on from your past, from someone else, isn't standing strong because you keep neglecting the divine feminine energy. Some of my Sagittarius is you are absorbing this empress energy and you are withstanding it within it and some of my Sagittarius is you are avoiding it and some of my Sagittarius is you do have somebody behind you who is trying to help you grow within your kundalini I see this snake right here behind the empress if do y'all see it In there, but yeah, if y'all see the snake, Kundalini, Kundalini awakening. Some of my, some of my Sagis, when you accept the divine feminine energy, you will awaken within your own Kundalini. This will awaken your ultimate spiritual journey. Is when you awaken your Kundalini and your chakras, and especially unblocking your heart chakra. Please give me guidance from Mother Moon. That just came right out. You give me guidance from Mama Kifa, please, for Sagi. The Spirit trying to tell me to tell you to stay strong, my love. Spirit trying to tell me to tell you to believe in yourself, to let go. Your intuition is telling you what's not fit for the betterment of your growth. And the universe keeps looking at you. It's like your guys look at you and they throw you the bone and they watch you go towards it but then they see somebody blow a whistle they see you see somebody blow a whistle who is like trying to trick you into some shit and oh my god we were just talking about this they see you trying to go towards somebody trying to trick you into some shit and it's like they're like oh shit there he go again there she go again damn it you shouldn't do a bigger motherfucking bone jimmy you shouldn't do a bigger motherfucking bone pops you should have threw one yes you have through it some of y'all have a very funny ass goddamn motherfucking granddad <laughs> he over here going <laughs> he like that one motherfucker that one listen 
but they like you gonna see and they rooting for you and they're telling you to balance spirituality and practicality it wasn't i just saying this i swear to god i've been saying this during the whole reading that's why i've been saying this during the whole reading they're telling you to practice and balance spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces so some of you all really need to go into the water some of you all really need to tune in to the healing natures of the water some of you all like i said before have been really in tune with the materialistic 3d mindset goals of working and building your pinnacles and abundance to where you've been neglecting your other side of yourself your yin and yang your shadow and your light my loves you have to balance out and love and respect both realms of yourself. So, also when you're in this practicality plane, this visible plane, as, as we are here, you're doing well within that right now. But what Spirit's trying to tell you is you need to balance that. You need to go into thyself, Neptune energy. You need to go into thyself. You need to go into water. You need to ask your guides or whoever you may believe in to heal you. You need to meditate. You need to clear your mind. You think a lot. You race through your minds and your thought process a lot. And you, you walk fast a lot too. Spirit's trying to tell me to tell you to slow down stop pacing you know so i've always been on the moving and go to put people on your time you know to not always be on other people's time you know what i mean and to put time into aspects of people in an individual situation that will help you balance that's where you need to put more time into and give your time to and then we have personal issues reach resolution full moon and cancer again with the water energy so yes a personal issue re reaches resolution so it's so like we said some of my and like we seen out throughout the reading some of my Sagittarius says you have been going through a very stagnant stalemate transition right now and you've been going through issues within your personal life and your finances finances and your career where it hasn't always been a positive life and also specifically within this relationship that you may be in for some of my Saggies that it may have been in from the past a personal issue is reaching resolution and one of those burdens and a few of those burdens is, is what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is I'm seeing them just fall off of your back like just break in half and just melting and just sliding off of your back as it starts to heal like roots. I'm seeing that as these issues reach resolution, but within the reach of resolution, you have to allow yourself to be soft. You have to allow yourself to heal. You have to allow your heart chakra to open so you can feel and not neglect and not feed from your ego. You have to allow that divine feminine energy in so you can better heal yourself, my loves, because she is the nurturer and she is the power. She is the moon and she is the stars he she she is a divine motherfucking being yes she is what controls thee and what guides thee and you need that e my loves you need that e to balance and be right so allow the divine feminine energy to come into you to heal and if you have those around you that you feel comfortable around and healed around express the need and express the nature of you needing to be around that time of transition with them ashe a time for healing balsamic moon then i what the fuck is <laughs> i swear <laughs> i just be i just be talking y'all i'm just <laughs> I just be letting the messages just spill out, you know. But it's time for healing, balsamic moon. So yes, like we've been saying, so my Sagis, you need to heal right now. You are going through a period where you have been manipulated, where you have been used, and where you haven't been treated the best. And so you need to heal so you can better work towards the betterment of your own growth, and to where you can better be for somebody else, and to where you can better welcome in the energies and those coming into your life, and also be able to cooperate and work towards the path that you need to within the age of Aquarius is my love you need to heal meditate healing baths drink some tea go to nature stop being around leeches stop being around those that do nothing but drain you allow yourself to let shit go let shit go let people go everybody has a motherfucking season what is meant for you and what is yours will always come back to you you do not always have to be within an energy that is draining for you and if the energy is draining my loves then it is not meant for you you are supposed to be within a cycle and within individuals that you replenish them 
and they replenish you. And during this time, Spirit is telling you to replenish yourself. My love? Yes. Confidence is your key to success. New Moon and Leo. Yes. So confidence is your key to success. I am so motherfucking country and I talk really fast. I am sorry. Low, C, and stop. Okay. Confidence is your key to success. Spirit is telling me to tell you to believe in yourself. Mama Kita is telling you she looks down on you and she is just wanting you to just be confident. You have the fire in you. You are a flame ass individual jupiter and saturn did not give you this energy to charge you up for you to just let just be fucking drained by individual people who don't motherfucking give a fuck about you or who don't take you for fucking granted or who take you for granted correction or for people who, or for people who take you for granted so you're trying to tell me to tell you to believe in thyself believe in thyself believe in thyself you are your own motherfucking magician your own motherfucking manifester keep motherfucking glowing and always motherfucking remember during a time where you do let shit go believe that always new and better will always come to you you don't have to be stuck and you don't have to be around or be with these individual situations or people who do not sit right with your energy always believe and it shall be and then we have from Mama Kisa, a time to give rather than to take. And I understand new moon in Virgo. So I do understand some of my Sagittarius have been doing a lot, a lot of giving right now. Especially within a relationship that wasn't really going very, very good for many of my Sagittarius. But Spirit trying to Spirit trying to continuously tell me to tell you to give. And I know y'all see this green. Yes, I want. I know it's kind of bright this green yes but a time to give rather than to take so yes so a lot of earth heart chakra energy going on right now and spirit trying to tell me to tell you that you need to continuously be in that nature but you need to give to those that will appreciate it that will not that will appreciate the energy and the gifts that you give to them that you don't need to be in an energy or let others use you up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a time and energy that you need to be in where you need to be around others that you know will nurture you, that you know won't use you, and that you wouldn't mind giving to because you know they wouldn't be selfish with you. Those are the specific individuals that Spirit's trying to tell me to let you know to be around. So when you are giving towards them, you don't feel like you're just getting taken from. You know what I mean? And surrender to the motherfucking divine. I swear to God, I was just talking about Mama Kita. I swear to God, we were just just talking about the motherfucking divine feminine. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to motherfucking God, this bitch. I swear to motherfucking God, we were just talking about the motherfucking divine feminine. <laughs> I swear to motherfucking God, I swear to motherfucking We were just talking about my bitch. And I want to go ahead and give a shout out to all my motherfucking divine feminines out there. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Girl, keep doing your thing. Keep being the boss. Keep being the motherfucking go-getter that you are. Keep being the hustler that you are. And keep that motherfucking Yanni popping, my nigga. Yes, sir. Keep being the motherfucking magic that you are, my loves. Surrender to the divine. Yes, sir, into the motherfucking divine. And she is not playing with you, honey. I'm telling you, Sagis, a lot of my Sagis, the divine has really been trying to connect with you. The divine has really been trying to communicate to you. The divine has really been trying to gift you, have been trying to give you energy, my loves. And what the moon, Mama Kita, who is connected to the divine feminine and to divine energy and who is the manifesto of divinity, my loves. The moon has been trying to tell you to surrender. Surrender. Allow the messages to spill. Allow the downloads to come. Allow. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
allow your throat chakra to unblock honey yes allow it to happen surrender to the divine and some of my saggies the next full moon you need to be working with the moon and regardless if you're not into the mystical arts you do need to meditate during the full moon you do need to relax you do need to smoke a blizzy you can take a few shots or whatever you know get, get a little litty but be in a charged energy and around either even if you don't want to be around people but just be alone but be around people who are going to drain you who are going to help you manifest who are going to do nothing but charge you and you allow them to charge them or are not going to take from you my love but you have to surrender to the divine the divine is trying to communicate with you trying to talk to you trying to love you trying to give you energy and gifts and what the moon is trying to tell you is to let it to surrender do not be afraid. It is not a fearful experience. It is an empowering experience. And I promise you that. Once you surrender to the divine um, goddess, the world opens up to you through a new eye. I'm um, goddess, it does. And I'm hearing that a lot of my saggies has been worrying about others how others view them because my left ear was just was just popping you're a lot of my studies are worrying about how others view them and what other people may think about in their process within their own spirituality and within the process of how they need to be balanced and whole in Sagittarius it's, what I'm here to tell you is fuck with anybody say because are they paying you are they filling your pockets who are they to judge you are they God are they? Are they? Don't they got flesh just like you? Are they cooking your dinners every night? Don't you got two hands and two feet? The fuck? <laughs> Let me turn my music out. I have to get that out because y'all really be sensing when people don't be for the betterment of your own good and it's like you try to force yourself to be around individuals who aren't for the betterment of your own good because you because you're trying to be a good person you're trying to be a good friend you're trying to be a good lover but what spirit trying to tell me to let to tell you and to communicate with you is to let them motherfuckers go let them go because the divine feminine energy does not have space or energy to share with toxicity or motherfucking leeches. She doesn't. She doesn't. And that energy doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. The only space she has for is her for her divine masculine. That's the only energy the divine feminine has for her. Don't got space for no nays. Don't got space for no jokers. Don't got space for no fools. Only the divine masculine. Let's get some guidance from the angels for my saggies. And it is the love month because Valentine's Day is like what? This weekend? Oh, I hope you all do enjoy it. And even if you're not involved with somebody, do something for yourself. Go get your feet done. Go get yourself on pedicure. Cook yourself some lamb chops. You know, cook yourself some tal nah, not, 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 not no tilapia. Some of my set some of my sad you love some tilapia because I ain't said tilapia in a while and that just came out, honey. But yes, some crab legs, some salmon, you know, you know, could you cook you some good stuff chicken some steak or whatever but you make your own self and you make your own experiences worthwhile when you put the proper effort into it you don't have to be around individuals to feel good you can feel good by thyself angels please give guidance for my sagis for february 2021 angels please give guidance for my sagis for february 2021 Please give guidance for my sagis. Thank you, Spirit. Please give guidance for my sagis for February 2021, Spirit. Please give guidance for my sagis. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. And then, oh, 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 oh y'all ready to see it? You know, we're just talking about the love month. What? I just talk about the love month. Ooh. Ooh. 
ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> True love at the bottom of the deck. True love at the bottom of the deck. This love is once in a lifetime. And I feel like it has to deal with the energies and the gifts that Jupiter and Saturn has been trying to give to you within this divine feminine energy. You are a divine masculine. You have the embodiment of that energy within you. Regardless if you're male or female, you hold a very strong ball a fucking divine masculine energy sitting right there sitting right motherfucking there you give off zaddy zaddy energy you hear me and what spirit trying to tell me to tell you is to allow the divine feminine to come in you know who she is you know the energy when you feel it allow it to bless your gracious planes yes and true love is on its way honey true love it is and i feel like some of my sages already know what i'm relating to you or already know what i'm trying to go by because some of my sages are really strong spiritualists i feel it i feel it i feel it i feel it and true love is on the way and it's going to be a relationship and it's going to be with somebody who's not afraid to grow they're not afraid to transform and to change and they are a very very mystic individual and they're not afraid to be different with the unicorn sitting right here at her temple there could be a they could be an earth sign as well and they also are very 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 connected to mother earth and they're very catering and nurturing and you can be in reconciliation with this individual or meeting your true love through the springtime going towards the springtime and also you all may have a very significant experience with them during the um summer during fourth of july so take that into aspect as well and then within this true love experience you all both connect a lot through music you all have like a 5d like a 5d sense or like of like telepathy when it comes to music you know like it just connects on that type of asset and you all both you're going to realize this this divine being when you realize the comparisons within yourself that you don't see with others and that you don't show others as well and also my sagis be um be observant of birds spirit just want me to go ahead and throw that in there be observant of birds Yes, of birds. And also the new moon. The wanting. And three. Yes, three. Connect to the universe. The universe has really been talking to y'all. So embrace, express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So spirit's trying to tell me to tell you that don't be afraid to give, like the moon tried, like the moon told you earlier, Mama Kita. Don't be afraid to give, and to sometimes little things do matter. And don't be afraid to think that something that you do for some, but somebody isn't taken into consideration, or they aren't grateful for it. And spirit wants to let you know that during the month of February, don't be afraid to buy things for somebody that you really think they may be, they may appreciate or really love expressed through gifts for that specific individual who touches you in a more physical sense and spirit and your angels are trying to tell you to choose love you always have a choice make yours with love exactly so you're trying to tell me to tell you to make your make more choices through love through your heart chakra then through the ego to choose love to don't make you know decisions that are for futuristic development aspects within yourself that are always egotistical and that are always pinnacle wise to choose love to be around individuals who make you feel good to be around individuals who you love who love you my loves and to choose love in the aspect and within a situation of what you're doing deciding to make the what you're deciding and what you're juggling to let love be a factor in that situation yes love quality time hanging out like without even having to do much just the energy of that person 
to understand that everything happens for a reason and that you know everybody aren't isn't meant for the whole book and everybody isn't meant for two or three seasons that sometimes so you meet somebody and they're only there for a season or two and that's okay but understand that that love that you did express and that you did grow through that person from your past that is okay and transformation is always intact always and then we have forgiveness nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments exactly so what your angels are trying to tell you is to forgive although that person may have you know fucked you over hurt you stabbed you in the back betrayed you been deceiving as fuck angels are trying to tell you that you can still forgive them and i know that shit is hard i am a capricorn my nigga like what we forgive Sometimes we forget. No, we don't forget at all. <laughs> we, for, we, we forgive and we snip, snip. <laughs> Dead ass, like, we may forgive you, but don't think we forgot that shit. Don't think shit's sweet just because we forgave you. No. But what's we're trying to tell you that forgiveness. Don't be afraid to forgive and allow yourself to forgive so you can let those cracks start to mend and mold back together within your own heart and within your own energy to not hold on to shit to let shit melt away and roll off your back to allow shit to to allow shit to fly away so you can move forward just because you forgave somebody don't mean you gotta fuck with them just because you forgave somebody don't mean you still gotta be their friend and don't mean shit sweet but you forgave them for the betterment of your own energy and for your own well-being act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Yes. So, so my Sagittarius, you have somebody who has been really on your mind a lot. But what Spirit, trying to, what Spirit and your angels are trying to tell you is to make actions and decisions as if you were in a relationship with somebody that was your divine counterpart. To act as that is so, so you don't feel yourself going back into leeching negative aspects within your aura so you can move forward so you can keep your heart open so you can understand that what is meant for you will come and to already act as if they are with you because they are some of my saggies some of my saggies already met their soulmate some of my saggies your soulmate or your twin flame is coming towards you my love their divine counterpart is coming towards you my love and to act as if they are already here because they are on their way the universe has been trying to put that energy and sending you that energy but it's like it's been a ping pong effect and it just has been bouncing back and forth but right now you are accepting it. You are accepting it and you are moving forward with it. And you are acting as if your partner is here. So you can move forward to the betterment of your own growth. And acting and just moving forward, my loves. Allowing transformation and transition. Yeah. Who that person is that's on your mind, like... Yeah. All I could just say is, yeah. Just act as if your partner is here. Yeah. Always. In the heart of the matter, there is more going on than meets the eye. They doing work behind the scenes, boo. They doing motherfucking work behind the scenes. And I tried to tell y'all that. <laughs> I tried to tell y'all that. There is more that meets the eye. Transformers, shout out to all my Transformers fans. Roo, roo, roo. I love that motherfucking movie. All the movies. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But your angel is trying to tell you, and I see <laughs> 111. <laughs> It's 11. It's 111 on the screen right now. So, yes. There is more that meets the eye, my loves. And there is a lot going behind the scenes, behind the veil that you don't see. That your ancestors, I'm specifically hearing a grandfather and your angels. And I'm specifically hearing an uncle too that's been doing, helping, doing work for you behind the scenes. And also, I'm hearing... Don't be afraid to come and see me. I miss you. Aww. Yeah. Some of your loved ones, um, some of my statues you haven't visited 
some of your loved ones who are beyond the veil in a while and they're trying to just you know say don't be afraid to come and see them um they miss you they're always with you and they love you bunches and they're always rooting for you and to allow yourself to be here on this earth and to enjoy it and to allow tom to not be the concept of your decisions yeah It's been a lot of references to Tom lately. What? They be telling, they be saying, they, they just said that you can get so unfocused sometimes, my loves. But it's so cute when you be doing a lot of shit at one time, like a multitasker. <laughs> like a multitasker, but you're so talented. And a lot of my saggies are trying to work towards owning like their own establishments and like your past loved ones are trying to tell you to don't um don't give up to don't give up that you're going to be a strong key aspect to break generational curses and to keep trying keep rooting for yourself and they are always walking behind you always protecting you and all they want for you is to be happy that's all they want Wow. Wow. The heart of the matter is, there is more going on that meets the eye. Obviously. So, yeah, some of y'all have some very strong spirit guides and angels. <laughs> and, um, they're, the universe and them are really weaving, weaving the web for you. They're weaving the web and making shit shake for you behind the veil. And... It's a lot of work and process going on. But you have to really stop ignoring the messages and the signs that they give you. Because they send you messages and messages and signs and it's the and the cards is a two two. Two plus two is four. <laughs> Guidance, angels, everything's going to be okay. And two and two, new opportunities and decisions are coming underway, specific, specifically within love and relationships, my loves. So they're very much working on trying to bring towards this divine energy towards you and trying to help you in regards to this new establishment and your goals and your new ventures, my love. They're really putting in work work for you behind the scenes. And so don't doubt it. To don't doubt them. Don't doubt yourself. To believe in more than the physical because there is more that goes on that meets the eye my loves to believe in more to believe in more than the physical just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not real and just because you don't see it don't mean you can't feel it allow yourself and your intuition to grow so my sag so my sagis you're so into the divine masculine that you neglect your intuition a lot to listen to her more to listen to it more to let it guide you to Stop putting yourself in situations with individuals who put you in more deeper, darker situations that you were in before you were fucking with them. You know what I mean? And there's more going into me. Say, I, your spirit team is really trying to help you out right now. And they're really trying to web this huge ass, beautiful, sparkly gold web for you, my kings and my queens. Like, it is so goddamn gorgeous. Like... It is really a lot going on behind the scenes. And what they're trying to tell me to tell you is to don't give up. To keep believing in yourself. To let go of individual people and situations who are holding on to you. But only because they know that this go web is forming behind you. Some of you all are involved with karmic partners or were involved with karmic partners and are moving out of a stage to where you're now working on your shadow within yourself out as portrayal. So within this time right now, Saggies, continue to heal, continue to move forward. Don't be afraid to be alone. Allow the divine feminine energy to just caress you and to just feel you, my loves. Stop neglecting any energy that J that Saturn or Jupiter have been trying to give to you and surrender to the divine. Believe in yourself. If you're working on an individual personal relationship right now, understand that make the better decision make the better decision for your own growth and your own well-being. You are a divine motherfucking counterpart. 
You are a motherfucking king of cups. You are a motherfucking divine masculine. You will always meet and bring in other divine motherfucking beings. And you will bring in, just like I tell all my other beautiful motherfucking signs, as a divine being, you will always bring in other divine beings. But as a divine being, you will always bring in karmic beings and other entities that want to use your energy for themselves. Almost like an energy vampire. Pretty much an energy vampire. So yeah. Some of my Saggies, you were involved with an energy vampire. You were fucking an energy vampire. And they were giving your energy to somebody else. Especially with a lot of them knights and knaves in reverse. Yes, honey. So yeah. So I love you, Saggies. Hit me up if you need me. Leave a butterfly down below if it resonated. Keep moving forward. Let this love and divine energy come to you. Don't be afraid of it. It is not a fearful situation or experience. This spiritual journey for you will be an eye-opener. Allow yourself to keep moving up. Allow yourself to be free. I love you bunches. And holla at me if you need me. Ciao.